Hello, I'm John Gerhardt with American Engineering Group, and I want to talk today about run-flat tires. Actually, there are three kinds of run-flat tires. Uh, we have talked and worked with run-flat tires for a number of years, and I'd like to share some of our experiences. The three kinds are a self-supporting tire, which is one of the common ones now in use for passenger cars. What uh, this tire does is have an extra wide sidewall that when the air goes out of the tire in case of a puncture, then the extra supporting sidewall carries the load of the vehicle instead of the air in the tire. The second kind is a ring-supported tire, uh, and what this is is a standard tire, but inside the rim is a special uh, ring that supports the tire when there is no air in it. The third kind is one that uh, we at American Engineering Group have developed over a number of years. Uh, it's mainly for uh, very special uses, especially the military. And uh, we'll talk shortly uh, about that. But we wanted to give you a little more information about the other kinds. You'll see here's a self-supporting tire, the kind that you usually see. It's got extra thickness in the sidewall so that if we lose air, this actually acts more like a column and can carry the load of the tire. So the light tire can continue to run with uh, no noticeable effect. So you can carry on until you can get to a place where you can change out the tire, where it can support uh, air again. The support ring system is actually a rather simple system. Works very nicely. Uh, you just put a ring inside, attached to the rim, and the tire runs just like a normal tire. When you lose air, it just runs down and you're actually running on the ring. The ring supports the tread. So it works very nicely. This is the uh, Pressure Zero tire that uh, we at American Engineering Group have developed for the military. And what you'll see is under the tread, uh, we have put several steel rings. And this is what supports the tire when there is no air in it. This looks like it's aired up, but this particular tire on a, a Toyota pickup has no air in it. It's fully loaded, but you can see it looks like very little deflection. This is another vehicle that we tested. You can see this is one of the military vehicles. This tire on the left rear is actually running with no air. We run it on gravel, on the highway, uh, with no air on it. We have run it over 200 miles at 50 miles an hour with no problem at all. So, what's the advantage of a run flat tire? Why would we do that? Well, you have peace of mind. You're running down the expressway. There isn't an easy way to stop and change your tire. The run flat lets you continue to go. It has high value because this is something that people desire and would like to have. So it does give you very nice, reliable protection. The market for run flat is actually uh, younger drivers, women, the electric vehicles uh, need special tires. We have specialty vehicles that might uh, uh, have advantage with run flats. And high performance tires, high performance vehicles usually like to have uh, this as an option. Complaints are because of the extra materials in a run flat tire. Uh, in order to carry the weight, the ride seems to be a bit harsher uh, at low temperatures. Again, because of the rubber, it's not quite as good traction. And they're not so easy to repair as a standard tire. But despite all these reasons, it still is a very uh, comforting thing to know that you don't have to worry about changing your tire in a bad neighborhood or uh, on the highway. There are legal requirements, uh, like for all tires, but for a run-flat tire, since you can't tell the difference, 
it is required to have a vehicle tire pressure monitor. And all tires, of course, have to satisfy the DOT uniform tire quality grading. Uh, they have to have good warranty. And there are possible defects, but since there's not that many out on the market now, that's not been very carefully uh, examined. But uh, again, we were working harder on the tread, so many times there's a little bit shorter tread life. Here's what it looks like. If we look, here's the tire pressure monitoring system, and you'll see this is extra wide in here to help carry the load in a columnar action uh, instead of with the air pressure uh, tensioning the cords in the tire. This is what it looks like, and on the other side is a normal tire. Uh, here's what has happened uh, to ride comfort. Uh, the very first generation uh, wasn't so good, uh, probably 20% harsher. Uh, the second generation improved that, and the third generation, which we're in now, is getting very close to a tire that's a standard tire that we're used to. It's not a run tire. The heat generation is one of the concerns with a run flat tire because we're using rubber to carry the load. The hysteresis builds up heat. And again, with improvements in rubber and some of the construction, we're getting the heat uh, generation reduced significantly, which is uh, very important. So, tire structure, what does it look like? Where is this heat buildup coming from? You'll see a normal ply is very narrow, but we've added all this extra rubber in here, which builds up heat because rubber is an insulator of heat rather than a conductor of heat. So, in conclusion, we have new run flat tires for passenger cars. They have safety value, gives us peace of mind. Uh, we don't have to worry about changing tires on the road. We can get away from uh, dark places at night and get into where there's some light so that we can change tires and we don't have to worry about traffic running by us. And uh, OEMs are accepting and putting these on a lot of at least the higher end vehicles. So I appreciate your time. Thank you for listening.